What's up guys, this is the Donner Backbeat. This is Donner's newest electric drum set that they just recently released, uh, I think at NOM 2024. So that was maybe about two months ago from the making of this video. Um, this is their new flagship model. So this is their biggest contender with brands like Alesis and Roland. Um, this is an amazing kit. I, I am so surprised with everything you get from this kit. Um, I wasn't expecting to get them this many features with a uh, drum set that's, only, that's less than $1,500. But you get a lot with this kit. I mean, it comes with 900 sounds, uh, 900 plus sounds in the module. Uh, the, the rack is completely customizable, so you can move the toms wherever you want them to be. You get a massive kick pedal pad that can sport a double bass pedal. And most noticeably, you'll see it has LED lights built into the drum shells and the cymbals. So that already is like uh, an, an eye grabber and just already makes this drum set a league above the rest. So Donner was nice enough to send this kit to me and they don't want me to like give you a false opinion on it. They said be honest, be raw and aggressive about what you think about this drum set. And I'm a player who plays the Elisa Strike Pro. That set is over to the side. So I'm used to playing a kit that's, you know, about $2,600. This one is under $1,500. And you, if you want to see the price and check it out for yourself, there's a link in the description below. And it is an affiliate link. So if you do end up purchasing it, I do get a small uh, cut from it, a small commission. So you'll be supporting the channel and you'll get this awesome drum set. Uh, me personally, I think this needs to be everybody's first drum set and there's a couple reasons why first of all you got these mesh heads toms they have two zones on each of them so you got the rim and the you know the actual head um, you got two symbols and you can add a ride if you want to later or just have one crash and a ride from the get-go the module has so much to offer it's got lessons it's got songs to play along with and like I said, it's got over 900 songs. So let me just break it all down and let's get into this so I can explain everything that comes with this drum set. So let's talk about the rack because the rack is something that is completely innovative to me. It's got so many brand new things with it. First of all, if you want to adjust the rack and like, you know, move these arms, all you have to do is spin these knobs here at the top, one right here and one right here. You loosen that and these arms will actually fold and it's so much easier than getting out a drum key. If you know, we always lose those things, they always disappear anyways. And now all you have to do is twist that knob and it'll loosen the whole rack up. The rack is also pretty much, you know, customizable because you can move the cymbals wherever you want. You can put two toms down here if you wanted to. You can put one rack up here or you can just get rid of one, take out the, uh, if you want like just a rack tom and a floor tom. You can take the, uh, this other tom out and it's just so it's I love it so much more than those ones that just have, you know, the pre-made slots where you can't move anything where where it's at is where it's at. And if you're not comfortable with it, you're just stuck with it. This is so much more better. You can raise them as high as you want to lower them if you need to. The snare has its own arm, so you can easily rotate that in and out of where you want it to be. And I just love that it's so customizable just like that. Now the next thing, and this is the craziest thing I think about this drum rack, is that the input jacks are actually built into the drum rack itself. So you're not connecting all these pieces and having cables run all the way along the rack to get to your module. Instead, the module plugs into the rack, there's wires inside of the rack, and then you just plug straight into the, uh, the input jacks on the rack. It's amazing. These cables are pretty short right here, um, so I haven't even like used the. Uh, it comes with Velcro strips to make it more tidy and clean. Uh, I didn't even really bother with it. You just plug them right in. The cables are right there. They're not that long. They're not dangling all over the place, and it, it's a lot easier than um, some of the other ones where the cables are running all over the place on the floor, tangled up everywhere. Uh, no, it's so much more simpler and easier to plug them in this way. Now they do get a little tight. You know, but they're L-shaped jacks, and they do have to kind of go around each other on that one specific spot where you plug everything in. But it, it's not that bad, really. You just plug them in, make sure there's room for every one of them, and you're good to go, man. But it's so awesome that they have 
the input jacks built into the rack. That is just amazing to me. And I think a lot of drum companies are going to look at this drum set and be like, I think that's the way we need to go. Uh, Donner's really stepping up their game with this one. Uh, you can really tell by the rack. Now, as far as the toms go, we got two 8-inch toms up here. We have a 10-inch snare and a 10-inch floor tom. They all have two zones, so we get the rim and we get the head. Which is amazing, especially for a kit at this level. Usually you just get like, you know, rubber pads and it's just one zone and that's what you're stuck with. Um, also, the toms have a pretty good dynamic range. There's three sensors in each of the toms and the snare. So the dynamic range is pretty good. I was also surprised that you can get some pretty nice ghost notes in on this kit. And by the way, I'm playing the default kit that comes with the kit. Uh, as soon as you turn the module on, I haven't adjusted any of the settings. So what you're hearing right now is just immediately right out of the box, which sounds great, especially at this price range. Now, one of my favorite things about this kit is this bass drum pad tower. This thing is a monster. It, it is beefy. It is sturdy. You don't have to worry about like using a double bass pedal. There's plenty of room for both the beaters and you can get them pretty high. You can lower them if you want to. There's a lot of range in where you want to put the beaters and, you know, stuff like that. It, it's It's got really good cushioning, so it's actually really quiet. I was surprised about how quiet it, it is. It might be even quieter than my Lisa Strike Pro um, uh, bass drum over there with the mesh head. But this is really padded well, and it responds just like a low-tuned kick drum head. But I absolutely love it. I might even just take it inside and have my kick drum set up to it so I can just use it as a practice pad because it feels so good to play on. All right, let's move on to the cymbals. We got two crashes right out of the box. Uh, one I'm using as a ride, the other one as a crash. There's an option to add a third cymbal. So if you want to buy a new one, you can add that on there so you can have a ride and two crashes or maybe like a crash in a china or something like that. Um, you also get a hi-hat one. So the crashes are rubber all the way around, and it's fairly easy to mute them as well. They are two zones, so you got the bow and the edge. That's the bow. That's the edge. And to mute them, you just lightly grab the edge of it. Now compared to the Elisa Strike Pro, the, um, that kit is very hard to mute the cymbals. This one is, this is how it should have been designed. You just lightly grab it and you're good to go. Uh, this is the ride. You can also crash the ride. Now the hi-hat is only rubber on the front of it and the back of it is plastic. Now these are censored all the way around but this is just censored right here. You can also mute the, the hi-hat cymbals. So if you want to do that without the pedal, you can do that. Now, unfortunately, there is no stand for the hi-hats. You're just using a pedal on the floor. It's your standard uh, pedal that you'd get, you know, with any entry-level uh, electronic drum set. It responds pretty good. There's no double triggering or anything like that. So it feels pretty natural. So yeah, nothing too crazy there, nothing to complain about either. It works just fine for me. And uh, I'm happy with it. So the build quality on this drum set is amazing. Everything feels very sturdy. The rack isn't like falling over when you're hitting it. You have to really shake it if you want to get it to move. Um, I love the fact you can adjust it just by turning those knobs right there. I love that the everything plugs right into the rack itself. Um, even the pedals and the kick drum tower. Uh, 
the symbols feel great, although you do have to tweak some of the settings because it was kind of hard to make it crash on this one over here. Um, but other than that, everything feels great. It feels amazing. Uh, a drum set at this this price range, man, this this is amazing. What you get for it, the two zones, the the sensitivity on the the actual pads themselves. Amazing, man. I I'm so uh, like I just love it that you can get this kind of a drum set at this price range. Now the drum set itself is amazing, but the module is where this thing really shines. There's a lot of features in there, um, and it's touchscreen. So let's dive right into this module and let me show you everything it's packing in there. All right. So first things first. Let's remove this plastic, and really get the full effect of this module now this thing is beautiful it's like messing with an iPad or your touchscreen phone or something like that um, you just tap on it with your finger and you can adjust your volume you can select what drum set you're gonna want to play um, everything is just at your fingertips right here it's very easy to uh, navigate and like I said it's got over 900 sounds to choose from it has 50 pre-made kits so that's already a lot and you even get a picture here like an avatar for each individual drum set which looks really cool um, for new players this whole drum set right here is going to be it's going to be so much fun it's going to want uh it's going to make players want to play so much more um but if you want to customize your own drum set you can as you can see here's a user setting you would just hit the save button right here and then uh name it whatever you want Pick the image for whatever drum set you want. Let's just go with uh, user, I don't know, three, I guess. Save as new, and there you go. It automatically sets it up for you. You also got your mixer right here, so you can adjust the volume of each individual piece. Um, I just cranked up the kick because for some reason the kick wasn't really shining through on the mix for when I'm playing, so I just turned that thing all the way up. Yeah, this thing is a whole lot of fun. So let's, if you want to change the sound of each individual piece and your cymbals and all that, you would just click on instrument right here or tap on instrument right here. Hit the piece you want to change. So we'll say snare. Well, let's do the tom. And now you can change the, not only the equalization of it. So you can change the sound of it right here. You can even change the tuning, which I thought was really cool. That is a super low tuned and high tuned uh, rack tom right there. Now, if you want to, you can also use this knob right here. It's the only button you really got, but you can use this knob to kind of fine tune the numbers to get exactly where you want. And you can adjust the equalizer, the panning, the muffling. It even has muffling changing. So let's do half. and full yeah I'm, I'm just using full right now because uh it just kind of sounds better to me at the moment now if you want to change the sound that's coming out of this you would just click on voice and this is where you got a whole list of things to choose from and i mean there are a lot of sounds for each individual piece so we're just doing the rack tone right here this is where you would scroll through you want to change it, um, we'll do Tom Old School Head. Just select it and or uh, pick it and then hit this button right here. And it changes it. Ooh, Tom Metal, that's like a fourth floor Tom. So I'm going to go back to uh, what I had here. What did I have? Tom Metal 1. <laughs> I don't know what happened here. Let's go to... Okay, that's what happened. I uh, detuned this second tom over here. 
There we go. Anyways, that's how you change the sounds. Uh, again, you can just go down here. You can pick whichever one you want. If you want to change the ride, the cymbal, kick, tom, snare, all that good stuff. Or just turn on chase and then hit the one that you want to change. And you can also adjust the drum lights from here. This is an, I'm, I'm going to go deeper into this in a few minutes. Um, but this is where you can change the actual lights that are on the drum shells. Uh, but we're going to look at that in a minute. Now, there's also a room effect on, you know, every kit that you select pretty much. If you want to turn that off, you just hit this button right up here. And the room effect is really strong. Uh, I kind of wish there was a way to, like, change how much of it actually affects the sound. Um, but it's just either on or off. So uh, let's try it. With it on or with it off, you really just get the sound of the actual drum set itself without the room I think that's pretty nice um, so me personally I don't like the room effect that much but there it, it is there you can see it adds a lot of reverb to the toms and everything like that so uh, you know you just play with it see what you like if you don't like it just turn it off and this other button up here, um, so it's LED light. If you select drum kit, it's based, uh, the LED lights will change based off of the the uh, the kit that you actually select. So if I change that, you'll see they're actually changing right here. If you just hit global, uh, change this button to global, whatever you turned it to, it'll stay like that. And as you can tell right now, I have it all different colors, so this is totally customizable. You can make them any color you want and you don't have to uh, make them all one color. You can make these two whatever color you want, these two whatever color you want. That's pretty cool. Now, there are 50 drum sets um, pre-made for you. I'm not going to go through all of them, but I'm going to play a couple of them so you can get a gist of what kind of sounds we're working with. I think for this price range, you're getting some amazing sounds out of this. I'm going to turn the room effect off and just play a couple of them. That's weird. Some of these kit pieces are really loud right out of the box. So it's a good thing to have an equalizer here where you can adjust everything. Last but not least, the King James. Yeah. 
Yeah, so some really, really nice uh, sounds you get right out of the box. There's also, you know, MIDI input, so if you want to plug it into your computer and use a VST on your computer that way, you can do that. Now, let's go ahead and move on to the next tab. The next tab is the effects tab, which I thought was pretty crazy. You can get your compressor in here, so you can compress the sound that's actually coming out of each individual piece, whether it be the snare, all the toms, all the cymbals, or the kick drum. As you can see here, snare, kick, tom, cymbals. Um, even your backing track, I think that's when you plug your aux in. Maybe you put a compressor on that. I don't really know. Um, but you do get a compressor for each individual piece. There's even a filter, so like a low-pass filter, a high-pass filter. Um, if you only want the low end coming out, you can do that. Or if you only want the high end coming through, you could do that as well. Um, but if you're not really like, uh, you know, if you don't know what you're doing with these, I would just leave them the way they are. And kind of play with them later um, once you get more familiar with what a compressor and a filter actually does um, let's see the next one is a practice practice tab so this one has songs rudiments and groove libraries um, you know these modules never really come with that good a song let's just let's find a rock one maybe uh, rock nine Yeah, I've never really been a fan of the songs that come on these electric kits, but if you want to play with those, there you go. You can play with them. Um, it sounds like the drums are playing in there as well. I wish, I, I don't know if there's a way to, oh, MIDI drums off. Maybe now I can, so remove the drums. Now I can make my own. Uh, you can play with that in the future. I don't really care about the songs too much. What was really um, sticking out to me is Rudiments and Groove Library. Let's check this out. So we got all your rudiments here, man. Oh, wow. 40 different rudiments to learn. Uh, let's just go with a, a paradiddle, single paradiddle. So everyone should know that. Right, left, right, right, left, right, right, <laughs> right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. And I think if you hit audition, it'll play it for you so you hear what it sounds like. That's pretty loud. Um, but it's also cool that the drum set itself lights up. I love these LED lights, man. Not only for the looks of it, but for people that are learning, um, that's really going to help you know which what you're supposed to be hitting, how it looks when you're hitting. So uh, let's try to get a high score on this one. Okay, I suck. As you can see here, whatever it turns red, that means you missed the note. Um, I'm going to have to mess with this because this is going to make me uh, get really tight on my playing. As you guys know, I've only been playing for like two years, so um, this is going to be great for me to learn and get really tight and in the pocket while I'm playing. I don't know what BPM that is. Maybe I can try that in the future. But this is awesome. This is an amazing way to learn. I mean, you got the notes right here on on your your module, man. So this is like a whole a whole drum teacher and a drum set all in one, which is amazing. I I, I can't wait to like get into this and learn some more stuff myself. Learn some new rudiments. That's gonna be awesome. Um, let's go ahead and check out this groove library. Uh. All right, let's go with Rock 1. Okay, that's a simple. So I've never really known how to read music, but um, I know a little bit here and there. I can tell what that is. And I already failed.
That's what that is. Uh, let me see if I can get a good score on it. I don't, I don't, I don't know what's happening. I'm failing. I'm a terrible drummer. Anyways, that's really cool. I, I can't believe it has this function on it. This alone makes this like just an amazing tool to learn how to play drums with it also being very enjoyable to play, to look at, to hear. It, it's great, man. So let's move on to the next tab. Uh, we got the practice one in. Uh, record, that's pretty you know, self-explanatory. It's already got built-in memory, so you don't have to get an SD card or anything like that. You just hit record and play something. And then you hit stop or I guess pause, and then you can hit the save button right here. And there you go, just hit, uh, I don't know, record one, save, and then you can play it back. I didn't mute it, I thought I muted the hi-hat. Anyways, that's pretty cool. What do we got next, the editor. Now the editor is how you're going to change, you know, how the drum pads react to the way you're hitting. If you want to hit harder, you want to lower the sensitivity. If you want to have a louder sound while you hit higher, or, you know, like softer. So if you just want to and make that really loud, you would heighten up the sensitivity. How high does it go? 32? Okay. Woo! Okay, I'm not even hitting it that hard, and it's going all the way... Uh, up there, I'm gonna put it back down to what was it, three? I think rim sensitivity. So, okay, let's see. I'll keep that down at one threshold. Um, that means you have to hit with the intensity of three in order to even register the hit. Ask time, I don't really know what that is. Um, so, we're not gonna worry about that. X talk, that's like. The sensitivity between the other sensors so if you were to hit this one and it causes the other one to shake um, that's how you would change that setting I don't really know too much about that um, I don't really mess with it too much curve type linear or what is it loud log exp spline that's changing like how loud or I, I guess that's like affecting the velocity ranges for you so if you want to hit real quiet and you want it to be real loud, you would do something like log or loud. I'm barely hitting it and it's causing it to be pretty loud. Yeah, that's pretty loud. I'm just going to put it back to linear. Linear is like if you want to keep it normal, I guess you can say. Um, if you hit soft, it comes out soft. If you hit hard, it comes out loud. So... All right, and the last one we got is the system. Now, let's see, you got your, you know, what version it is, is 1.0. This does have Bluetooth, and there is an app on the phone. We're gonna look at that in a minute. Um, this is where you change your lights, which we're about to dive right into. Your MIDI controller, input drum off, uh, screen brightness, I have mine cranked up to 10, so I can see it. Uh, auto shutdown, so if you want the drum set to su uh, shut down after a certain time, you just adjust that to uh, mine's 30 minutes. Let's see. All right, that's pretty much everything in the module, except for the lights. Let's check out the lights, man, because the lights are one of those things that just kind of sets this drum set apart from a lot of the other ones. In order to change, what you do is change each individual piece. You just have chase on right here. That means when you hit something, it's gonna go to it, or you can just tap on it, I think. Um, no, maybe if you turn it off. Okay, I guess not. Yeah, turn chase on and then hit the part that you want to change. So we got a snare. Uh, I don't know. Let's make that green. We got Tom over here. See how it changes the Tom up here? We'll put that yellow. That's already orange. So if you want to change the pieces, you just change it like that. And I just kind of have them all different colors just, just because, you know, why not? <laughs> um... And so why don't we just set these all to one color? So I like purple. We'll do purple. Even the pink looks pretty cool. Symbols, I'll just leave them whatever they are. 
Now the light effect you can change right here. Ambience is the one I have it set to. That means it's a solid color all the time. So when you hit it, nothing, nothing changes. It just stays the same. Now if we go to gradient, um, I think it's going to flash like that every time we hit it. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's see. We'll go to strobe. What does that do? So it's going to be solid, but when you hit it, it turns off for a second. Now let's go to pulse. What does that do? It seems like it's a dim color right now, and it brightens up when you hit it. Yeah, so it's dim right now, but when you hit it, it brightens up. Let's go to marquee one. That's pretty cool. It's like swirling around. And it's doing it on the symbols too. That's cool. Um, so that's really cool. <laughs> just this is just so much awesome. This is so fun to just play around with. Marquee two. What did that do? Oh, okay. Doesn't quite it doesn't quite turn off the light, it just kind of like fades it back in, which is pretty cool. Interesting. Let's see. Let's go to response one. So response one, the light is off and then it comes on when you strike it. Response two, what does that do? I think it's the same thing, but it comes on a little brighter. Huh. Okay, I don't really know what the uh, difference between those two responses are. And we got ambience, which just keeps everything a solid color. All right, so that's pretty much everything that's on the module. Let's go ahead and look at the app real quick on my phone and see what exactly that does. All right, so I got my phone. Um, Bluetooth should be on. Let's see, connect your backbeat. Your Bluetooth, uh, allow, yes. You can select it right there. And we're connected. Easy as that. Uh, what does it do? So we got our tool. Uh, okay, that turns the screen sideways. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I have no idea what that does. Uh, let's go to control. So we can change the the uh, the lighting on this thing just through the phone. Uh, we can change the name of your device that's in your phone. Let's see, Toner. Okay, so pretty much all it does is uh, change your the lighting of your kit, right? Is that what it does pretty much? Okay. So I guess you can just change the lighting of your kit through this. You also have your effects over here. And yeah, you, you can, I guess, do a new configuration if you want to adjust everything. I don't know. We'll just make everything random colors. As you can see here on the screen, too, there are, there are options to add a fourth tom and another symbol. Um, there are enough input jacks for that if you want to do that. So keep that in mind. You can extend what you got right here which I think will increase the drum set, you know, its playability dramatically. Be having another tom and another cymbal, that'll make things much better on this drum set. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what you could do on your phone, is just, you know, change the LED light colors. Again, guys, I think this is amazing value for this drum set. Um, it is about, I think it was $1,300 or $1,400 to get one, and you get so much out of it, man. You Not only do you get a really well-built drum set, with uh, mesh heads so they're quieter than your regular heads 
um, these rubber symbols and all that. You get the LED lights. It looks amazing. The rack is is crazy, like innovative. The input jack's built into it. The rack even plugs right into the uh, the rack itself. I mean, the uh, module plugs into the rack itself. Everything plugs into the rack. The rack, you just turn two knobs. You can adjust it however you want. Um, God, there's so many good things to say about this drum set. We got two zones on all the toms. The kick pad is a monster. It feels great to play on. It's like one of the drawbacks is that you don't get that extra symbol and tom, and you can't use a hi hat stand for this. So there is that hi hat, you know, I guess issue there. But it plays great, plays normal. Um, it's not really going to bother new drummers for sure. Uh, this module has so much built into it. All the sounds, the pre-made kits, and everything like that. The lessons, um, the rudiments, all that. Um, I didn't really show it. It does have a metronome, of course. Everything has got to have a metronome nowadays, but. All this is built into it. You can control the lights by Bluetooth. I mean, this is an amazing drum set for the price you're paying, man. Um, Elisa's, Roland, they're going to have to step their game up in order to compete at this price range. There are there are other kits that are at this range. Um, they don't have these features. They don't have this drum set that's like got multiple zones, um, mesh heads, an amazing rack like this. So... They, they need to step it up if they want to compete with this. But Donner really outdid themselves. They did. Um, man, they really, they're really they really kicking ass on the market with this one. So this is extremely innovative. I think new players are really going to love this, especially if this is your first drum set. There's so many things you could do with it. You can do covers by plugging aux in. You got your lessons built in and all that. Um, yeah, I think new drummers are going to love this drum set. And like I said, this should be everybody's first drum set. There's so many things that you can get out of this. And uh, yeah, I think this is an awesome drum set. What do you guys think? Are you going to want to get one of these? Um, if you're looking for an electric drum set, I think you should definitely look into this Donner backbeat as a possible purchase because this is, um, yeah, this is, this is an amazing kit, man. I absolutely love it. It's better than any other lower end drum, uh, electric drum set I've ever played before. So I'm really impressed with the way it feels, plays, sounds, and looks. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. There will be a link for this thing in the description as well. And again, thank you, Donner, for sending this to me and letting me, um, you know, review it and give my opinions on it. I think you guys, I think you guys knocked it out of the park with this one. This is uh, going to change the market for sure. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys on the next video.